Hey everyone and good morning. Today is something a little bit different on the channel. Uh, we are at Country Junction here in the Pocono Mountains, which is the world's largest general store. So we're going to go in and check that out. There's some sort of like fall pumpkin festival going on as well with rides and whatnot. That's my girlfriend Molly. I go to Legend. And uh, yeah, let's check out something different. Interesting, as you walk into the store, they're advertising musical entertainment at yeah. the general store. So they have a very affordable gift shop and a scarecrow. Along with like some old timey games and a candy crane. Candy crane seems like it's been uh, used a lot. Yeah, it looks like it has kind of a Wizard of Oz motif. You do have a candy store. There's a room with Christmas trees and tables and uh, cars too. Also, the Blues Brothers are in here. Uh, there seems to be an, kind of an arcade area here in the, in the food court, complete with a, a WWE video game. That's fun. And a bunch of cranes. A lot of the cranes seem like they're play till you win, which is probably very nice for kids. And yep, yeah, there's a, a bunch more games over there. We're visiting in the fall, so there is a, a scarecrow contest right now. So there's a big chicken little hanging out in the corner of this. What I'm guessing is like a room for birthday parties. And of course, what you would expect here in a general store, a small bowling alley. So I only have one single and I'm gonna use it in the smartest way possible. Getting a squash penny here from the scarecrow himself. Uh, Molly, which design should we get? I don't know. I'm kind of feeling the, the yellow brick road one. Yellow brick road, this one? Yep. Okay. Let's see what the scarecrow has to offer. It has eaten the dollar. We get to pick our our thing. Oh, I can tell by looking at you. You're a smarty. You've made the right selection. Now it's time for the scarecrow to go to work. Stand back. Here comes your penny. And it has popped out. It's very warm and very shiny. Time to hit a random red button. I'm hoping it turns on this animatronic. Uh, there's also a tree that moves. There's a section of the store for all sorts of salsas and dips and that kind of thing. And you do get some uh, free sample of the corn salsa. Let's see, Molly, how is corn salsa? All right, more button fun. Hey, Maroos here. What do you call a pampered cow? <laughs> Sports! I guess there must have been a sale on weird tree animatronics, as there is a second one. And I'm wondering if this chicken used to do something. Unfortunately, I have run out of $1 bills, so we can't get our fortune told by the psychic chicken with a frog on his back uh molly's found things that amuse her oh! <laughs> or the big one the big one's kind of frightening it sounds like he's dying i feel like they really like their country junction song uh, stores like this are interesting. You never know what's going to be around the next corner. And uh, it, there's a, a, a section that sells puppies. 
<laughs> we have found a much larger section of arcade. I do like they have Connect Four Hoops. That's a really, really fun game. And then they have bumper cars. Interesting, they've got the flipping bumper cars and non-flipping bumper cars. And right by the arcade and bumper cars, there is a wine tasting area. The dog's pretty expensive, but if you want your own turkey, you get a turkey for 10 bucks. It doesn't look like a turkey to me. They do not look like, but I guess I, I've never seen a baby turkey before. I don't think that's a turkey. For the low, low cost of $500, you yourself can own this really cool green iguana. We're currently in a fish tank area. And what of course would be right next to the fish, but animatronic velociraptors. Good news, we found another button. You killed my sister. You landed right on her. The tomato. Yes, the tomato. That's really neat. It's kind of a, a seasonal section filled with like holiday and harvest stuff. They have a whole wall of nutcrackers. And another talking tree. I think I need a roof canal. Uh, there's also a giant Ashley home store. A very, very large store. There's a talking bear head. Here in this lovely room of death. Uh, also randomly in the room of death is the Rolling Stones. Who else has a button? Not working really like these lamps. They'd be perfect if you had like a like a log cabin or something. Hit the button. But I wasn't dreaming. Toto I couldn't move. have been dreaming. This was a real place. Very little and tail. Most of it was beautiful. And I kept telling everyone. Also right I next to home. Dorothy is like a, I want to go like a monkey that and looks like it used to be on a carousel or something. He tried to help me. Help and a scarecrow. Lots and lots of Christmas stuff. I'm not sure if that's a normal thing. We got two different ones going. Christmas stuff, Christmas stuff, Christmas stuff, Christmas stuff. Orangutan? All right, and another button. Okay. Now in a candle area, and there's another button here. Oh, I'm sorry, but you are ugly. I mean, we all are, but especially you. Hey, Murray. This one's fun because there's also a bubble machine involved and it's next to a lot of socks. Molly, you want to buy any uh, goat milk lotion? With that sign, yes. I mean, that is quite the sign. a whole section for spices and um kind of a pirate goon i thought it was an ogre yeah it could be right now we're outside there's a some sort of a fall pumpkin festival going on there's also a petting zoo out here uh this is very very cute there's just a a small scale like 
streets where kids can go and play on like tricycles and stuff. And here is a good old Thanksgiving turkey. Now that's a turkey. Sometimes it's just fun to look at like the weird collection of stuff they have at places like this. Two different hippopotamus heads. And then over there is Fozzie Bear from Muppet Babies. A very large chicken section of the petting zoo. Hi, buddy. You're a chicken. Thanks for giving us your, the poses. Here's a very pretty bird. There's a pond for duckies. <laughs> There's a, an animatronic jamboree with a, a very talented octopus. There are some fish in the pond. Uh, I guess uh, Unlimited Carnival Rides is $10. They have definitely more little kid friendly carnival rides. And I think the rides are just part of like the fall festival. There's a snack bar outside, so we went for some pierogies. And we're uh, gonna enjoy our pierogies right here next to Superman and 3D Galaxy Battle Quest, which I believe is laser tag. There's a uh, kind of a ship themed playground. Uh, the mine for gold. All sorts of stuff. More fun over here. They've got the traditional hay rides. They've also got paintball wagons. Uh, that one's obviously not functioning, but there's one that like, I guess they both try to take you into the trail, into whatever that shed is. It's an area for like pony rides and horse rides. Right now we're in some sort of barn petting zoo with chickens, like real chickens. Mm -hmm. Hey, Baxter! Run the color sheet covered in chocolate! <laughs> Take candy, Baxter! More buttons. Hi, everyone. Hey, welcome to Country Junction. I'm Booster the Rooster. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we are now in the pens with the chickens. There's Molly, and there's a chicken. I think we got some alpacas and a goat and more chickens. Having some lunch is Buttercup the Cow. <laughs> I also love that in Buttercup's area, there's a, there's a UFO. Uh, they even have drinks out here, so I guess that winery from inside is also the booth outside. And there's a tea brewing. Uh, as part of the festival, there is a dark ride. A really cool Looney Tunes facade. If you want to count it as a roller coaster, you probably could. There is a lift hill and it's all gravity powered. But it does fail as a dark ride as there is no theming at all on the inside. <laughs> it is just black it was just black walls and it cost me seven dollars to go on. It was worth maybe two dollars. Maybe. <laughs> well for two dollars I don't think I can pass up going through the 3D wacky shack. So let's head on inside. And see just how wacky this shack is. Oh, they've got one of these big spinning vortex tunnels. Which is kind of trippier in the black lights and the 3D. There is a step down here. Okay, we're now in 3D outer space. Charge. 
Obviously, this probably looks better with the glasses on. It does look pretty good with the alien. Yeah. Well, I think we've gotten to some sort of a button here. I'm going to hit the button. Okay, the button makes a fun noise. That looks really good in 3D. Probably not great in 2D. More silly noises. Oh, there's a fun spider. I wonder what kind of fun noise the spider is going to make. The spider makes no noise. Oh, no, there he goes. Okay, and I think we found the exit of the Wacky Chef with one final button. This was something you really, really want to do. Yeah, gourd grenades. So you got this big kind of like, I guess like you use like slingshot like water balloons, but instead you, for like six bucks, you get a bunch of small pumpkins and then you get to fire the pumpkins at targets. Let's see. Well, it smashed, it's <laughs> not on a target. Let's try again. Let's see, pulling it back. You hit the tree? <laughs> you can really get this thing going. <laughs> <laughs> what what target are you trying to aim for? Uh, it, it's really difficult to kind of aim for anything. You're all the way on the ground. Oh, oh so wish. close. So close. I wonder if I'll actually hit anything. I'm going probably not. Probably not, no. I like how there's also turtles in the middle. Yeah. If you wanted to aim uh, closer, let's see. Oh, oh you got the is. pumpkin. You got eight pumpkins in total to yeah. use. And finally, you hit a target. I'm just gonna try and fire one like as far as I can. I'm gonna shoot it this mm. way. That went uh, quite far. Cool. Yeah, no, uh, very neat. And how much of this? Six, Six dollars. Okay, here we go. Aiming for the tractor. Right above the tractor. You have like two pumpkins left? Two pumpkins left. Two pumpkins left. I think he's still trying for the tra tractor. Over the it did bounce over the tractor. Final chance to hit the tractor. I like how there's pumpkins everywhere on the ground. Oh, way right. Nope. Pumpkins everywhere. I only see it one target. You did. And there we go. That was our adventure to the world's uh, largest general store and their accompanying festival. I had a good time. What an interesting place. Loved the animatronics. Loved all the fun. So uh, if you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. Thanks for watching.